if you haven't realized it already, 2024 is a leap year. At the end of this month, an extra day will be added to the calendar. And while February 29th isn't a big deal to many of us, it is a very big deal to others. Leah Bino spoke with some experts about the myths and the history associated with Leap Day. And that was an off year. That was the year where I would have been one and a half years old, technically. Born February 29th, 1972, Nathan Keish will turn 52 this year or 13 in leap years. I joke and I say, uh, you know, I either age really well or really poorly, depending on how you look at it. He didn't realize his birthday doesn't exist on the calendar most years until he was about to turn eight. My mom even said, yeah, you know, you were born on, you only have a birthday every, every four years. And I thought, really? For a full explanation, we visited the observatory on a rooftop at McAllister College. And we've got our 16-inch telescope inside this dome here. Astronomy professor Anna Williams reminds us leap year comes around every four years because technically it doesn't take 365 days for the Earth to orbit the sun. It actually takes about 365 days, five hours, and 48 minutes. In order to not have the seasons creep into different parts of the calendar year, we have to add in an extra day to the year every four years to make up for this difference in the tropical year and our calendar year. Basically preventing winter from ending up in July. So why is Leap Day added to the end of February? For that, we can thank Julius Caesar for wanting a more consistent calendar. After plenty of manipulation to calendars in ancient times, a 10-month calendar eventually transformed into the 12-month Julian calendar. January and February were added to the end because back then, the beginning of the year was March 1st, the start of spring, when seasonal work got underway. February was one of those months where they would often, you know, before Julius Caesar, they would add extra time or take away extra time to make sure that spring was happening, you know, at the beginning of March. I think it was a natural transition to just continue to mess with February compared to the other month. <laughs> it's an easy one to, to mess with a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Still, the Julian calendar wasn't perfect because eventually that extra day adds too much. Pope Gregory the 13th and his mathematicians stepped in creating the Gregorian calendar we know today, which includes leap years every four years, except on century years that are not divisible by four. I propose we give this thing a chance and let it work out how it works out. Any mathematical confusion aside, fascination with leap years has been depicted on the big screen and dates back to the fifth century. While some are superstitious about February 29th being an unlucky date to get married, Irish tradition encourages women to propose to men on this bonus day on the calendar. Like every other date, there's plenty of famous leaplings celebrating birthdays. Prime Minister of Spain, former Vikings linebacker Eric Kendricks, and according to Time Magazine in 1988, Superman. They forget sometimes that we have a 29th day. While he's in good company, Nathan says being born on Leap Day does have occasional complications, usually when filling out various paperwork. Sometimes I have to be, you know, close enough to just punch in 28, which is not lying, but I mean, this is all they gave me. Overall, he embraces the uniqueness associated with being a leap year baby. His mother loved having a baby born on Leap Day. A former teacher surprised him with a February 29th class birthday party. But most recently, it's Nathan's wife who takes the cake, throwing a train-themed party for Nathan's 40th, a.k.a. his 10th birthday. It's something fun to celebrate, and of course, every four years, you got to live it up, right? A little bit. Leah Bino, Fox 9.